Hey guys, it's Summer Rain from Homestead, Brooklyn, and I'm here in the Netherlands at the Botanic Gardens of Sautas. Now, this is one of the more under radar collections, but I have to say, it is phenomenal. We see some succulents, and we also see some different greenhouses that are not open to the public. So welcome to this week's episode of Plant One On Me, Field Trip Edition. My name is Maarten van Bodegraaf. I'm a volunteer uh, at this garden. This garden is about 50 years old and the last 20 years or so I'm a volunteer in this garden. This is actually the oldest part of the collection. That is it have. really? So this is the oldest part of the collection? Yeah, especially the, 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 the part over there. You see these uh, caudex forms over here? Oh wow, they're like bonsai. Yeah, they are, yeah. Once in, I think, once in four years or, or in ten years, I'm not sure. In ten years, I'm sure now. <laughs> uh, in, in Holland, we have got uh, something that's called the Floriade. And uh, in 1972, the, um, we took part of the, uh, 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 some of our, uh, our plants took part of the Floriade. And uh, we, we had a, a succulentarium. I'm not sure if it's a real wor wor word, but... <laughs> well, you know what, horatorium was not a real yeah. word, but Liberty Hyde Bailey made it up, so yeah. succulatorium, yeah. I think, is it sounds just as fine as for me. And actually, this, this one, this specimen, and this specimen also, some of those, those specimens are from, uh, from the, the prize-winning show we had at wow. the Floriade. This is a pretty exquisite, because it has this like chocolate brown yeah. Yeah. patina to the, to the wood. Yes. And here are some of your Kalinkoes. Yes. I love these. Yeah. Wow, look at all of them. This is incredible. And one of the rarest plants in the world over here. I'm going to get it over here. And there's, there isn't a name tag on it because it's so rare. <laughs> this one is the one where you make frankincense. Oh, the frankincense out yes. of this. Oh, wow. Yes. And it's actually in the wild, it doesn't... Uh, um, it, it's, it's very endangered in the wild. Is it because it was over harvested or? Uh, I heard stories about yeah. that, yeah. I'm not very sure, I'm, I'm not sure why it is endangered. Okay. It could also be a habitat loss, I'm yeah, not sure. Yeah. Phenomenal. Yeah. So they'd have to like cut the bark in order to be able to yeah. get the sap out of it. Yeah. Phenomenal. It doesn't look sure like much, that. doesn't it? But no, it doesn't look like much, but yeah. is, it, is it dormant right now? Yes, it is, yeah. yeah. It's going, it's uh, in, a, in three weeks or four weeks or from now, there are going to be leaves on it because the days are getting longer. Yeah. Actually, the, the, the manager, um, Gerald Jorder, yeah. he's, he's working a lot with, uh, with succulent plants and also with Kalengawe, and he's hybridizing. And this one, this, this is his hybridizing work. Oh, so this is all Echeverias? Yes, yes. Wow. And now we're going to our, um, also part of our collection. Mm -hmm. And these are the, the bromeliads. Oh, yeah, so here's yeah. all the bromeliads that yeah. you have here. Yeah. Okay, great. And the, these are the dikias, hechtias, uh, ananas comorensis, um, so pineapple. Um, and this, this, this is part of the national collection. Look, this one is holding seed. So do you usually collect the seed from here? Yes, we do, we do. We also uh, um, try and hybridize them. Especially the daikias and the hechtias are very a beautiful species because uh, some of them have very uh, blue, uh, very blue hard blue flowers. Yeah, so the inflorescences yeah. are yeah. really stunning. And you can, you can keep them outside during the summer in this climate over here. So do you usually bring them outside? This, this part of the collection we don't. We have okay. uh, another part of the collection we do and uh, our talents, uh, Talantia collection, yes. we also bring outside. Because it's, it's way better to have them uh, uh, watered by uh, a, a rain yeah. than watered by our quite uh, har harsh water. And you have like the, these Talantias as well? Yeah, as yes. This, uh, some of the species does, uh, um, are not named correctly, mm -hmm. but they are very old. They're more than 45 years old, probably 60 years old. Wow. 
This one is a, a greenhouse that we aren't currently using anymore, just to to sell plants. But there are there's there is one special plant in here that's the emerald tree, and uh, the emerald tree is a, a distant relative of the uh, the chocolate uh, family, oh, wow. uh, the, the cacao. And uh, oh, look at the flower. Yeah. And here he is. Oh yeah. And we try to uh, to propagate this plant, but it's really impossible to propagate this plant. We don't get seeds in here. This is a greenhouse. We have to have a very high temperature and a very high um, uh, humidity. Uh, but nowadays, um, we don't uh, have the high temperature anymore. Right. So it does make a lot of uh, like offshoot. Like offsets, okay. Yeah, offset. But, but that's just the same version of the tree as opposed yeah, to... Yeah, and, and you, can't, you, you can't get them out. Oh. Uh, they, they will die. Yeah. So. Wow, and then you have some amorphophallus here as well. Yes, we but have. all these are things that you go into production for sale. Yes, yes. Um, it, this was the the, the small uh, warm greenhouse, yeah. where we have the um, in 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 the the days uh, that's about twenty years ago. So mm. we were specialized in the the neotropics of the the plants uh, mm. section, and we have uh, and then we had uh, orchids like Mastavalia, Dracula, uh, Plurotalus species like that, and, and also fern species uh, from, from the Neotropics. Yeah. But all, all of these uh, are gone. Wow. <laughs> so this is, this is going to be changed into an area for more succulent plants, okay. like the, the Havorthia yeah. and the uh, uh, other succulents. Yeah. Yeah. So this is an amazing tree, and I know that you have one more greenhouse to show us. That's uh, about yeah, it's, it's about 400 meters away from yeah. here. Okay, wonderful. So let's uh, let's go see that. All right. Off we go. So this is uh, an area not uh, for visitors, but because. Your people uh, who watch your videos probably want to see this. Yeah, absolutely. This is part of our Australian plant collection. And over there we also have the, the very big succulents that are otherwise are going to be outside and will die, of course, in this, in this weather. This is uh, where we put them. And your Christmas decorations. Yes, we, we <laughs> do a lot of Christmas decoration. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Sereus forbesi spiralis. Wow. And uh, this one is actually a naturalized hybrid. hybrid, uh, hybrid. This is uh, discovered in 1980. And there are a few species, species on uh, um, specimens on the, on the world, and we have several of them. Wow, they are stunning. They're very, very unique. Yeah. And especially because you don't see the needles. And nowadays you have this, the, this one also, this, okay. this one, this Ceres one. They also have the the spiralis uh, version, but the needles come back on that one, and mm. this one, it doesn't have needles. This, this is a natural, natural hybrid, hybrid. Unbelievable. So natural hybrid meaning that it was a uh, hybrid, like it was a hybrid in, in natural environment yeah. versus in yeah. a closed environment does, like yes, here. Does, yeah. Oh, look at all these pachyphytums. This is, this is, also, um, this is also all, all of what you're looking at are collectional plants. Mm. Wow, look at that one. It's like bright red. Is that yeah. a Kalunkoe? The uh, we, I think we call them. Yeah, I I'm not sure. I think they call them flapjacks, but I'm not sure. If I'm, I'm, I think it's Echivera. Is it really? Yeah. Okay. But I'm not sure. Yeah. Sedums. In March, April, we are going. To, we we are all going to take this down, and then we going to um, put them back again and then uh, in a year they look like this. 
Right. Great, yeah, thank you so much. Is there another greenhouse that you want to show us or is this, um, is this I it? I think this is it. This is great. Well, yeah. I, honestly, we, we this do is... have more, but <laughs> this, this is it. Our time has come to an end. Yeah. We could spend here all day and not even see an iota of, of what we have here. Well, thank you so much for this tour. It's been amazing and I do hope that when people see this video, they actually get way more interested in um, some of the collections that you have here because it's absolutely stunning. And I could see also botanical artists wanting to come here and just see a, a breath of your collection because it is um, it is quite a well done collection and actually highly organized I should say so well done on all you volunteers yeah. thank you very much hey guys so I hope you really enjoyed that tour here at the Botanic Gardens and of course if you like these episodes don't forget to subscribe on the channel here and you can follow along on my journey at my website at homesteadbrooklyn.com and on my Instagram at homesteadbrooklyn bye Okay, I'm rolling. I'm rolling. We're rolling now. Hey guys, it's Summer Rain from Homestead, Brooklyn, and I'm here in the Botanic Gardens of Zautas. Now this is... <laughs> I can't... Kevin's eyebrows, I think. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs>